and it whoa 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 it so it just uh Hey everybody, Brooks and Drag Dimes here. Welcome back to the channel. Yes, I finally got full self-driving beta or pre-beta in my Tesla Plaid. And I'm going to show you really quick, not the trick, but how I ended up getting it. Because obviously I'm going to the track a lot. My driving score was never that good. You need a 98 or 99 out of 100, over 100 miles, over a week to get this push to you and I believe that's what the last um, requirements were when I got it so you know my scores were low and I got a hint from a friend of mine Juan on how to do this so pretty much here is the secret or how to do it um, if you'd already been enabled the full self-driving bit and your score stinks and you want to reset it you just go to right here go to autopilot all you have to do is opt out go for a quick drive park the car let it sit for about 30 minutes, then opt back in. That will reset your driving record. And then you need to go 100 miles uh, with a 99 or 100. So what I did is I reset it, opted out, opted back in, and went out for a drive um, for 100 miles at two in the morning down a highway where there was no chance of a car pulling in front of me or you know emergency braking or anything like that. So it was kind of a pain, I did that got the car home and parked it and with a 99 score for a week because I was traveling. And when I got back in town, I got an email and got invited to the full self-driving beta. So just if you're still trying, that's the way to do it. Now, I've used it a couple times and you know I've been looking forward to this to a long time to try this out. And it definitely needs a lot of work. I'm gonna go through a quick demo here. I'm doing a real simple drive. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do a test drive from the gym to my house. Let's see how well it does. I've put my address into the nav system. Uh, now it's picking up all the cars around us. And there we go. So it's engaged. We're actually driving through a parking lot right now. It's got the left turn signal on. And it, whoa, 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 whoa. It, so it just uh, can't quite figure out which left turn it wants to do. It is stopped way behind the stop sign. And now it's over the yellow line, back over to the right. Um, and I'm gonna lie, that was quite sketchy. And now it's got right turn, there's no stop sign, and it just stopped. And taking its time, it shows it's going right up here. There's a stop line on the bottom of the street there. Let's see what it decides to do here. All right, making a little right-hand turn here. There we go, not bad. So navigating the parking lot's going okay so far. Now we got a big truck up here in front. We got a stop sign, that guy waiting. Um, I don't know if it knows whose turn it is to go. It doesn't. I'm giving it throttle right now to make it go because it was just stopping there. I got another car coming up here. We're in the right-hand turn lane. Now we got a traffic light coming up. And right on green, here we go. Okay, here we go. And we're off. <sighs> wow, we made it onto the street. And let's see, gets in the left turn lane here, not bad. Okay, coming to a stop. There's uh, what it sees around the traffic. It's got the left turn all on. All right, green light. And we're off left turn. Here's the visual visualization and it's left going left here. It's kind of hard to keep on. It wants to hold on to the steering wheel, but it makes such erratic turns left and right. It's kind of hard to kind of hang on to this with it moving back and forth. Um, and if you held on too tight and it pulled against you, that would actually disengage uh, the uh, full self driving. So this is kind of the easy part here. Uh, just kind of cruising in traffic as it would normally do. Coming up on a uh, stoplight. Pretty easy stuff here. There's actually a car in front of us. Uh, without full self-driving, it would stop at the stoplight as well. 
Um, but if it was green, it would require confirmation for you to tell it to go through the green light. With full self-driving, it does not need that. Again, does not need any confirmation to go through this green light. Just kind of passes right through. Very nice. I have also noticed that it will turn the windshield wipers on automatically to clean the windshield if it's dirty, and that is to clear the cameras um, in case they got dirty. So it'll say automatic wiper cleaning enabled and just go ahead and do that. All right, we're coming up on a turn. It's gonna wanna make a left at the road up here. Starting to break a little bit. Doesn't like what that guy's doing over there. Let's see if it jumps in the left turn lane. Here we go, it does. Now interesting here is it moved all the way to the left turn lane instead of that turn lane, which is where I would have been because up there we have to make an immediate right. So the smart thing would have been to stay in that right left-hand turning lane instead of on this side, because now it's gotta go left and then make an immediate right with cars that are gonna be sitting on the right-hand side of us. Let's see what happens. All right, here we go. I'm gonna have to pay close attention here because here we go making a left-hand turn, but it's gotta get over to the right and there's cars next to us. All right, so it puts the right turn signal on. It's getting over and there's a car in the way and let's Oh, it's got the turn signal on, but it can't get over. There's a car over there. So what is it going to do now? If it wasn't the right-hand lane, this wouldn't have been a problem. This is... It stopped in the middle of the intersection. All right, I have to take over. Well, that was weird. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it back on. There is something over here uh, to report autopilot mistakes. You click on that camera button, autopilot snapshot recorded. Um, what it's doing now is it's going to the next street up to make that right uh, to get home. So definitely some improvements it made there. It should have known to get in that right hand lane, then it would have made it. And the interesting thing is that it lost its way and was just kind of sitting in the intersection. It was a green light, there were people behind me. I had to take over, otherwise it was just gonna sit there and I was gonna start getting honked at. All right, coming up on our second chance uh, to get onto the street we need to to get home. There we go, turn signals on. It's coming into this corner kind of fast. And here we go, yeah, there we go. All right, coming up on a stop sign. This is sometimes a pretty busy intersection. It's kind of stopping a little short. That guy's making a right. I could have already gone by now, but it's still sitting. Now there's people behind me. Um, all right, no one coming over there. Here we go. Okay, there it is. Made the right turn. That was pretty easy after that truck was there. Um, I actually did give it a little confirmation uh, with my foot on the accelerator. That gives the car, I don't know, kind of like a confidence boost that it's okay to continue forward. Um, I haven't seen that kind of in the autopilot notes yet or anything, uh, but I'm seeing that more and more. That if you get into a situation where there's a lot of cars coming and you think it could go, you can actually give it a little throttle there and it'll pick up and go. Now here's an interesting point. Two times before it's made the left into my neighborhood into the exit instead of the entrance. So let's see if it's learning because I have pressed the autopilot correct button a couple of times. Let's see what it decides to do here. So I'm paying very close attention because I don't want it to run into the exit. Here we go. Uh, left turn signal on, and it's making a left. And there, it made it this time. So that's cool because in the past, it's tried to make enter into the exit zone. And this time, I didn't have to take over and it made the correct decision. So really cool. As we're pulling into the neighborhood, uh, the car does not see gates. So you gotta be careful here um, or the car will run straight, straight through these car barriers that are coming up here. Let's see. I'm going to be ready to go right here um, and take over so it doesn't run into anything. But let's see what happens. All right. Now these gates are going to close. 
and it's following the car in front of me. We might get lucky because the car moves. Yeah, no. All right, I had to stop. <laughs> there you go. So it would have barreled right through uh, these two gates and uh, probably damaged the car. So note to Tesla, see if you can see the uprights to these gates and things uh, in a future full self-driving release. All right, I'm going to turn it back on because we have a roundabout coming up. Let's see how it handles this. It's got the left turn signal on. This one's pretty easy. Nobody's coming. Still sitting here. Still sitting here. There's someone behind me. Here we go. Let's not curb a wheel. All right. Jeez. All right, so it ran up on this curb, but it didn't curb a wheel since it's a soft curb, if you guys can see that. Um, but uh, if that was a normal curb, that would have not been a pretty situation. It would have scraped the wheel. So I'm not sure if it needs to see a tall curb to avoid it. And these like, kind of slanted curbs that you can kind of drive up on that you might see at a racetrack, it knows it can drive up on them. Not so sure about that, but uh, keep an eye out for low slanted curbs because the car will drive up on it. So that's it. We are back at home. Let me know what you think in the comments about where full self-driving is on this release. This is release 10.4 of full self-driving. And uh, once again, to enable full self-driving beta, if you bought it, if you have a subscription or you purchased it, uh, just uh, opt out, opt back in, drive for a little bit, and then uh, you'll get reset. Put 100 miles on the car, get a 99 or better out of 100, over 100 miles, Park the car, don't drive for a week, and hopefully you will get the beta and be able to experiment and have fun with this. It's uh, pretty cool to watch it uh, learn and grow as we uh, move forward. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, helps the video on the channel. And uh, I'm thinking about doing a full self-driving demo from here to downtown Miami, and that should be really interesting to see. As always, thanks for watching.